Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a lens flare effect all from scratch, all in Photoshop. Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, we're going to be jumping into Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to create a lens flare completely from scratch. You can do this with some brushes and a few other settings inside Photoshop. So without further ado, let's jump to the screen and get started. Rightio, so we're now in Photoshop and you can see I have a lens flare. This is something that I created from scratch in Photoshop. And we also have an image of a car. This is from unsplash.com. And if you would like to download these project files, these PSDs, they are linked in the video description. So first of all, we have the lens flare here all grouped together in a folder. And if I just turn these off and switch them on one by one, I'll show you how I made it. So we have a color fill adjustment layer, a purple glow, a pinky ready glow, a long flare across the middle. And then we have this smaller flare that's been smudged to the left and the right, and then Photoshop's lens flare filter. That's how I made it, but let's collapse that and start from the beginning. So we'll switch that off. We'll go down to the adjustment icon at the bottom and select solid color. Now you can pick any color you like. I'm gonna try and match what I just showed you. So we'll go for a dark purple and click OK. And before we go any further, we're just going to want to turn on our rulers. So if I drag a ruler out from the left, aim for that halfway point. Ah, you can see I've already done this. There we go. So we have our rulers. Essentially, you want to make a crosshair. And then we can hide the rulers. Now, let's go and create a new layer from the bottom of the layers panel. And I'll show you why we've added those guides. So if we go to the color picker, we just pick our background color. And then just go a little bit up from that and click OK. We can then grab our brush tool over here. And from the drop down, just make sure that hardness is at 0%. We have a soft round pressure opacity brush. You can adjust the size here, or you can use the left and right square brackets on your keyboard to quickly adjust the brush size. Now, if we didn't have these guides here, it'd be quite hard to determine exactly where the center is. So let's press cap locks on our keyboard. And we now get a crosshair as well. So we can position this right in the middle confident that this is the center single left click and we have our soft glow now we're going to go and add another new layer down here from the bottom of the layers panel and we're going to go and try and create that pinky ready glow something like this click ok now we're going to bring our brush size down a little bit for this one and if we turn that back to a crosshair with the cap lock key on the keyboard I can single left click and there we go. So if we didn't have this crosshair to mark the center, we might have got this, well, we probably would have got this completely off. And with a lens flare, it looks much better if it's symmetrical. And what I could do is even bring this down actually, bring down the opacity if it's a bit too, too punchy. There we go, it just blends a little bit better. And I'm gonna add another new layer and we'll try and create the orangey yellow one. Bring this down even more. Now for this one, as we get close to the center, I'm gonna bump the hardness up to 15% just to make those edges a little bit harder. And we will even zoom in. Get that crosshair back with the cap lock key. And click. And if you want to tweak the color, you can actually go up to image adjustments, hue and saturation. So you could just go undo and try again, or you can just kind of go and tweak the colors this way. Maybe desaturate it a little bit so I can kind of fine tune this. There we go. So you can see the difference. Just making those few tweaks. And then I'm actually going to have like a, a really light one as well. And I'm gonna do this on the same layer actually. So we'll just pop that one right in the middle. And I'm gonna make that a little bit harder. So a lot of doing this is kind of really just tinkering with these percentages, the brushes and everything. If you don't get it quite right, you can just go edit, undo and try again. There we go. So now I've got the orange on this one layer. I can actually grab the smudge tool. Now this is located under your blur tool. Left click and hold, grab your smudge. You may need to play around with the strength here. 
I'm not entirely sure what what I used to get the result I had. Oh, look at that. Not too bad for a first go. So 60%. So rather than just uh, do this randomly, because you could smudge this all over the place, I'm actually clicking, holding shift, and then it keeps that smudge horizontal like this. And then I could bring that brush down even more. And do something like that. So as I say, you might want to tinker around with that a little bit. But there we go, we've got that lens flare going out to the side now. And I think I'll just turn that one off. Make another new layer. I'm going to use the color picker to sample this same color. Or something very close to it. Pick a small brush. Pop that in the middle. Of course you can't see it there. <laughs> go to edit. And free transform. And then hold alter option on the keyboard and it will drag from both sides. And we're going to drag this out something like this. And I'm actually going to hide my guides now. There we go. And there's a shortcut as well if you want to turn them off and on really, really quickly. So this looks okay. I'm just going to quickly make some tweaks to this. So I'm going to make this just a little bit thinner. Maybe bring this pinky purple down a pinch. Select everything. And maybe make some adjustments. So you can see I can really fine tune this by selecting everything and then going up to edit and free transform. The purple's getting a little bit lost, so I'm just gonna up the hue and saturation. There we go, something like this. So as I say, I'm really just kind of fine tuning all of these layers. And this does look quite different to the example at the beginning, but as I say, every time I do this, I end up with a different lens flare. So I'll be interested to see what you create. So what we're gonna do now is add another new layer and I'm gonna fill this with black. Right click and select convert to smart object and change the blend mode to screen. Go to filter, render and select lens flare. And you can pick your lens flare if you like. You can adjust the brightness of your lens flare as well. Move it around. And I'm going to click OK. And there we go. I can move this around. Could actually use the arrow keys as well. So I want the kind of flare part to be in the center of the lens flare that I've created. And you could go and tinker with some different blending modes. Wow, that looks crazy. You could tinker with some different blending modes if you like. And you can even bring the opacity down if you want something really, really subtle like this. And we could go and add a bit of blur to really kind of soften that. Now that's the reason that I added this black layer as a smart object because you can see it lists the blur and it lists that lens flare underneath. If it wasn't a smart object, it would be permanent, but because it's a smart object, I can actually click go back into it. I could change the type, adjust the brightness, lots of different things. So maybe I'll go with that one. And I'm actually going to add a layer mask to this. Grab that brush tool and just brush around the edge. You can see I'm getting these hard edges. I don't want that. So I'm just going to brush around some of this. There we go. So you can keep that or not. Maybe just drop the opacity. So it's really subtle, but it's entirely up to you whether you keep it or not. And then I'm going to group all this together by selecting these layers. We have the group icon at the bottom there. And we'll call this Lens Flare 2. So that's the one I had at the beginning. You can, you can see I spent a lot longer on this one, fine tuning it and just getting everything right. But this is how I created it. That is the same technique. It's just come out a little differently and I'm doing it a little quicker uh, because I'm doing a video, of course. But then again, you may prefer this one. So, hey, it's entirely up to you. But for the next step, 
I'm going to use this one because I spent a lot of time getting these colors looking right. So once you've got your lens flare, it's all folded up. Right click on that, select duplicate group and set the destination as the car lens flare document. Hopefully you've got that open as well. And what it will do is it will duplicate this into that document. And you can see we have the car there. And it won't let me transform that because I have a locked layer. Yes, I do. So I have this background color, this purple that's come over as well. We don't want that, just the lens flare. So we can actually just delete that or drag it to the trash at the bottom of the layers panel. And I'm actually gonna turn off Photoshop's lens flare as well. I just kind of want this one piece here. So with all of these layers selected, I'm just gonna use free transform. And we'll position that over the headlight. There we go. And I can use the arrow keys as well to fine tune that position. And then I'm gonna duplicate all of these layers. And then again, free transform, hold shift and drag them over to the other side. So there we go. We have all our lens flares in one folder. And the reason that I wanted them all in one folder is because I can now apply adjustment layers to that entire folder and it will affect both lens flares together. So we're going to apply a curves adjustment layer and click this icon here, which will make it a clipping mask. Essentially that means with this arrow here that it will only apply these changes to the folder that it is linked to. So it's not gonna affect the car image behind. And we can adjust this curves adjustment layer and fine tune exactly how punchy we want those headlights to be, something like that. That looks pretty cool. And something else we can also do is add another adjustment layer. And we're going to add a hue and saturation one. And another way of doing the whole clipping mask thing is right clicking on an adjustment layer and selecting create clipping mask. Now you could have this in full color. However, if you have decided that you want to change your headlights, your lens flares, and you want this to be a different color, you can select colorize, bump up the saturation, and you can pick any color you like. So we could go for something like that, or you could just go completely white. It's entirely up to you. And what I like to do is just have that layer there and I can always turn it off and back on if I need to. And there we go. So that was how to create a lens flare all from scratch in Photoshop. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, well, let me know down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.